over here for Trading Ships Tuesday. And, um, Annie, you can come in if you want. <laughs> um, I'm the owner of C Square Farm and a partner in Excel Star Sport Horses. And we actually have two. Do you want to get planted real quick? Yes. Um, this is our wonder, wonderful work Anna. She's going to take um, player up for bath. Anyway, I'm here with two Excel Star Horses, Excel Star First Class, a.k.a. Griffin, and then Excel Star TikTok here. Hey. And <laughs> both of them hate having their nails done. And so last week we had someone ask us, um, what do you do about that? And I don't really like the look of clipped tails, and I've never been good enough to braid a tail um, in terms of the neatness. So what we've done is I talked with my hairdresser and asked him what the best way to go about doing this was. And so we came up with some ideas and so that's what I've been using for years. So anyway, so I'd love to hear where you guys are um, watching from. I'd also like to hear any questions I'm gonna show you about um, cutting manes and tails. And anybody who has worked for me for a while would know that until a few years ago, that was verboten in my barn. But unfortunately, I've had a couple of horses that are just so horrible about it that um, I do it now because it just makes everybody's life a lot easier. So anyway, do we have any questions? Nope. Someone said you are sideways. <laughs> oh, I'm sideways. Okay. okay. Is this better if I go like this? Okay. Hold on. So listen. hopefully someone will tell us that we're not sideways. So sorry. Anyway, I'm a newbie. Um, we can start again if you like. But um, again, I'm Courtney Cooper. Um, owner of C-Square Farm and partner in Excel Star Sport Horses, and we're going to talk about trimming mans and um, trimming tails today. So, <coughs> if someone could tell us that we're straight up and down, that would be great. <laughs> um, anyway, so let's come and look at um, Griffin. Yes, okay, we're good, better. We're good? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Just on, uh, I'm not, I'm a, not a techie one. <laughs> She's on I'm a groom. <laughs> and that's because um, I did that part to show you what it looks like when it's finished. Um, we could probably take a little bit more length off of it. And then this part I was going to work on um, doing and you could see it. So I am armed with a pair of scissors. They need to be sharp. That is the whole key to them. All right. And so what we do is sort of if any of my female friends are watching, they have bangs. You know, with bangs, basically they do this. You go straight up and down, straight up against the hair length, okay? And you go back and forth. You don't spend any time sort of in one area chopping away because if you do that, you're gonna get a bowl cut. So you do that and then you come back. And Paige will tell you it's easy um, to braid a mane done like this. It's not, mm -hmm. they don't get real thick. Um, like they do, if you cut them straight across, sorry about that, Griffin. Oh, you're fine. Hi. <laughs> Can you get over there so you're not in the light? <laughs> so it's as easy as that. Like I said, sometimes you'll come around, you'll be like, oh, I took too much off there. And so you'll just have to neaten it up a little bit. And you can certainly, it's like everything with manes and tails. You can always come back to it and take a little bit more. And if things go really wonky, wonky, it grows back. It's just hair. It's just hair, exactly. Bad haircuts, we've all had them. But you can see just how bad he is just doing this with shaking his neck, um, pulling his mane as World War IV. They are, they have strong opinions about things. There you go. Any questions coming in? Nope. We got 10 people watching. Excellent. Anybody? We have a lot of people who come in afterwards. So 
If you come in afterwards, please feel free to let us know if you have any questions or suggestions for next week. We do listen to you guys, so if you like to have something covered, let us know. I know, I hit your neck, I'm sorry. So that's pretty much the finished product. Um, you can see some areas are a little bit shorter than others, just like you would in a pulled name. But overall, there's a pretty good... Are you done? Mm -hmm. natural look to it and so that's how we do that okay all right so let's move on to the tail let me get a broom and a shovel real quick hi mm -hmm. necessarily need to do it every week um, but just neatening it up um, especially before a horse show he's going this weekend to Flora Lee so back on his tail let's see if I can move him up so we can get a little better view of his tail he's really bad about his tail and we did a little bit already today and you can see he's already a little bit defensive about even thinking that we're back here but you can see on, oh, buddy. Ho, ho, ho. Here, I tell you what, if you hold him. <laughs> She's going to hold him up front. Oh, buddy. Okay, so there we are. So, oh, Griffin, stop. So here's the tail, and I've done the right side. And I haven't done the left side. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to go work on TikTok because she's a whole lot better um, to do this. He gets all worked up about it. But you can see how using the, sort of that same technique that we used on the mane, we've used it over here on the tail. And so just, again, keeping with the hair length, we've just cut, gone through and cut little pieces out. So again, you get more of a natural look than you would with clippers being all the same length. And then this is it when it grows out to um, work on that as well. But we'll do that at a later time because he starts dancing around. So we're going to move over to TikTok. And I'm going to give you back to Paige. TikTok's falling asleep in the crosstimes like a good girl. All right. So... I have the sunlight to help us here a little bit. You can stand a lot. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. So you can see how it's all bushy and, you know, frumpy looking. She's actually got a beautiful tail. Is, and so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. So we're going with the hair in terms of straight up and down. We don't want to do that and cut the length of it. We just want to cut through it sort of pull through it like you would with the pulling comb. And you can see most horses don't have a problem with this. It's just like getting your hair cut. And it's, as you can see, I'm pretty random about what I'm doing. I don't do this to a lot of our sail horses. Basically, the horses have to be going training level or above um, because with our sail horses, oftentimes our imports will go into the hunter jumper world or straight into the dressage world. And there, obviously, they braid their horses' tails. Step out of the sunlight just a little bit. It always seems like the horses that we do this to the thickest tails. Maybe there's something to that. And we probably haven't done a whole lot to her tail um, in a month. She also has a tail that tends to grow up out quite a lot. 
so in other terms of we had people who asked us about braiding um, last week after the fact they messaged me um, and they asked what kind of braids that we do um, I do sew in braids um, Paige does rubber bands I have never been very good at rubber bands um, Paige is very good at them um, and my big thing is I don't really care what kind of braiding you do as long as it stays in it it looks good um, I think for the big shows I always like them being sewn in but we also tend to at the big shows do them the day of um, so if they're good rubber band braids I suppose it doesn't matter just haven't ever done that um, there's a, a time and a place for everything um, so if someone wants to see about braiding we can certainly cover that we tend to braid the night before shows because um, we have so many horses going and here on the east coast of the United States um, we tend to get up at three or four o'clock in the morning and go and do our one-day horse shows and then um, and then come straight home and so to add an extra hour or hour and a half to braid five or six horses um, just doesn't do it so we usually do it the night before and they almost always wear cool coats um, and to stay clean and that helps keep their braids um, preserved as well so you can sort of see how as we're going right I've got a little bit more on the top and so she's lost a little bit of the bushiness but she still has a good bit left on the bottom so I'm going to keep going with this we also when we um, work with their tails on a daily basis we don't um, comb their tails out except for when they're being shown for sale or I have a personal lesson or they're going to a competition. So we pick their tails out. We're very lucky up here to use um, straw so that's pretty easy to pick out. Um, but even so I think it preserves a nice tail. Um, we will wash their tails once a week and show shame them um, just to try to keep them a little bit neater and cleaner and easier to pick through. Oh, oh. Hi Tickles. You can see she has quite a lot of, quite a thick hair coat here. <laughs> Any questions? Nope. You can see she's starting to have some shape. We like to have the, the um, narrowest part of the tail being at um, the biggest part of their butt cheeks. Just gonna do one side of this here and then. Um, Heather said, my mare doesn't grow enough tail for plating, so I wanna pull trim it. Only problem is that she is a paint and we live in Arizona, so I worry about the sun sensitivity. She turned out 24 seven. Any other thoughts on what I can do? A tail bag maybe? Um, I don't know if in terms of Arizona, like how do you turn out at night? I guess if you turn out at night. She's turned out 24 seven. Oh, she's turned out 24 seven, sorry. Right. I didn't the sun is hot. <laughs> the sun is hot. And you probably, do, do you have clothes on her? If you have clothes no. on her, de I de probably don't have clothes on her. Um, hmm. Well? Maybe a fly sheet? A fly sheet with a tail bag? Like with a fly sheet cover? Like over her? Like mm -hmm. like you would have on a sheet? Maybe you could make something out? Or even, I don't know if you've ever used a cool coat? Um, we got introduced to them, oh gosh, it's probably been 10 years now, um, ago. Um, and I think they originally came out of Australia, but they're a light cotton sheet um, that a lot of the horses up here really like um, because they don't make them sweat in the summer, um, but it keeps them clean. So maybe that's something you could use depending on what your paddock situation is like. Um, well, and maybe um, cutting is the right thing instead of pulling because it does leave a little more hair. hair on the side. You're not going totally bald. On the sides for a little more protection against the pink that skin. I know they talked about, like with dogs, um, we have flour right here. 
Hi. <laughs> She's so big. Um, busy, but okay. our, and busy, but our other dog is a husky cross, and oftentimes we've thought about um, clipping her coat, but we've looked at some of the studies that have been done on that, and they've actually found that um, when you take the undercoat off, it makes it more hot, so I, I don't know that I clipped the tail. No, I'd probably cut it. If I don't you know. If... Just trim it up a little bit. Yeah. And then you could also, if you trim it like this, you could also put some sunscreen on it, maybe. Mm -hmm. Someone said, how far down do you go? That's what Martha Wick said. Well, it's all personal taste. It's sort of about the length of um, how short you bang them as well. Um, hold on one second. I like a tail. I like to see how the horses hold their tails. Some horses, like TikTok, hold, hold their tail relatively high. So I think if you went really long, like down to here, she'd sort of look like a pool. Mm -hmm. And... I just didn't want her to look like a pool. So I'll just do sort of right below the fattest part of the butt cheeks. Um, and that's sort of where I will go with her. Um, I tend not to pull that long. I think in England and in Ireland, you'll see that their tails tend to be a little bit um, longer in terms of being pulled. I do like the look. I just am never that um, brave to really pulled out to here mm -hmm. because it takes so long to get all of this to grow. So that, if you, let me straighten her up a little bit. You being such a good girl. Someone said, do you use, Heather said, do you use cool coats for turnout or only in the stall? My horse rolled and it was not staying in place well at all. So I replaced it. Maybe it was a fluke. Um, I don't use them to turn out usually, but I'm not in Arizona. So um, I might use one in Arizona, and there you go. Um, I might use one in Arizona. Um, you can get them with leg straps mm -hmm. um, is how they usually come. And then if it doesn't, my river, um, if it doesn't stay in place, which you could always do it, it's one of those elasticized surcingles and sort of make, sew on some straps so the surcingle doesn't move. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of, banging tails um since she's standing relatively well and we're working on getting her uh tail to look good number one thing always get the horses to stand square and she we've already combed through her tail so then what you do is you can see um it's quite long and her fetlocks need to be trimmed as well but so what we will do is you got to think that the horse is going to carry their tail a little higher than obviously they stand and so you don't want to go much shorter than their fetlocks, at least for me, because she will actually wear that, her tail, about here. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a couple inches below her hocks, depending on what she's doing. So we're going to take a little bit off, straight across, hold it, and then just come back and sort of neaten it a little bit with the scissors. So, you can see on the right hand side now, we've sort of got her tail looking pretty good actually. Um, and like I said, it looks a little more natural um, than it does if you clip it. And then I'll finish off the right side. Um, it's always helpful, if I can have my mm -hmm. assistant here, Paige, so to have, nice I'm right handed, so it's easy for me to. Um, do this right hand, or do for the right side of her tail, but to the left side, it's a little bit more challenging. So again, if you have someone who can just hold the tail over, because like I said, you wanna not just cut up the thing. The big, the big thing is, again, if you've ever worn your hair in bangs, you've gone through this process, um, where they no come bulk. through and they sort of thin and shape the hair a little bit. Any other questions? Mm, well, there's two Heather. Heather said, good idea, thanks, about the leg straps. Super. It's a good, yep. And I, I worked at a different barn, and we turned out in them in Maryland, and as long as you do the leg straps, they tend to stay in place. Um, <laughs> some Heather, other Heather said she has a really nice tail. Oh. We'll tell TikTok you said that. She would like, really appreciate she that. She would appreciate that. She's, it's all about her. Martha said, what breed is the tan dog? A Ridgeback. 
She no. left. No, she's a German Shepherd, Chesapeake Bay Retriever. She has what she feet. Left. She looks like a Ridgeback, though. I get that all the time. Poor flower. Nobody cares about you. <laughs> All right, so um, so we're almost done with this. Um, obviously, um, before TikTok goes again, she will get her fat box trimmed. Um, I don't think she's going this weekend, is she? It's River and it's Griffin and it's DC. So they'll it's their turn at the spa. It's just TikTok is so good for this um, that we thought we'd use her. And she's so bad about getting her tail pulled, but she's so good about standing here. Um, unlike her friend in the other crop class. Um, so there you go. So you can see how that looks and shapes out and how her tail looks. So that is our training tip Tuesday for today. Um, we will be back next Tuesday. We look forward to hearing some suggestions on what you guys would like to see. Um, we are, like I said, back in Pennsylvania, which is opening up on Memorial Day, so we're excited about that. Um, we look forward to talking to you guys in person. And please feel free to come see the farm. We've got some new horses coming in. And as always, I hope you're doing well. And I hope you guys find these um, informative and fun. We enjoy doing them for you. Have a great Tuesday. Bye-bye.